Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live right now at the Louis Armstrong House Museum in Corona, Queens with Matthew Whitaker. Matt, thanks so much Hello. for joining us, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Listening to play, listening to you play piano over the last half hour, 45 minutes or so has been a total pleasure. So thank, thank you. you so much for bringing it to us today, man. Thank we're going to hear four songs today. Two of them are from Connections, the 2021 record. And, yes. uh, and there are two more surprises. I will not spoil those surprises. <laughs> um, what do you, what do you feel like doing first today? Yeah. Uh, let's do, um, Johnny Uptown. It's a, a song that I composed for the record and yeah, it sounds something like this. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. 
man. Thank you for coming Ooh. and playing this music with us today. We, um, so I know that you've had, you've been able to, uh, to collaborate and play with a lot of amazing musicians so far in your career. And you. that, that includes John Batiste. It includes Regina Carter, who were both on the record connections. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, about what those relationships are like and what they were able to contribute to the record? Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Um, so John Baptiste, I've, met when I was about 10 years old at the Jazz Legend Center in New York and I saw him live and um, uh, I was like, hey, uh, I love your mu uh, I love y your playing, I love your sound and you know, I would, would love to play with you one day. And next thing you know, uh, he, uh, he invites me to play with his band and um, I've also been on the And just hanging out with him and playing music, and uh, we also do duo piano as well, and uh, that's what we did on the record, um, which is um, which, which was really fun to record in the studio. And Virginia Carter, I met her when I was at the Monterey Jazz Festival a few years ago, and um, um, that was fun um, meeting her and performing with her on the stage. And um, I've always wanted to worked in the studio with her so the fact that we were able to make that happen you know is amazing so yeah yeah it is man i'm glad glad for you that you were able to to collaborate with them we've gotten Thank to have you. john on on this show before and he's just like the most genuine person yeah. possible and that's yeah that's amazing i've been enjoying connections your record quite a bit and i'm oh, really wow. enjoying you. what you're doing here for us today there's still one more to be shared from connections which one do you feel like doing second today yeah um so there's one that I would like to do uh, written by Stevie Wonder, and this one is called Lately. All right, love to hear it.
Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank man, you. this sounds wonderful. This, um, I know that that you are a, a Yamaha guy. You play Yamahas a lot, and this guy, this piano in front of you is. I, it might be a Wurlitzer. I don't know that for a hundred percent sure. I've heard heard <laughs> yeah. tale that it is a Wurlitzer. That might be true. It's not not totally confirmed, but it's know. an upright upright piano. Um, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about? Um, not necessarily judging one piano as better than another, but what right. are some of the strengths of the one that's in front of you right now versus the strengths of, uh, of a grand or the strengths of other instruments that you, uh, that you tend to play in your career? Mm, interesting question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel that, um, well, well, specifically talking about this piano right here, um, I'm surprised, uh, how well it can cut through, um, especially in the, top register, right, right mid to uh, high registers of the instrument, right, it sounds really good when you're like, right, really, really digging in, um, but, uh, um, but the, the, the dynamic range is also pretty good, you know, so I can play soft and it'll react, and what's also pretty interesting, and I, I like hearing these types of things, like, right, you can hear, if I play, <laughs> Right, you can hear like the like the noises of the keys uh, moving. So um, that that's one thing that I found inter interesting about this particular upright. So nice. Well, man, you are making it sound wonderful. And, oh, uh, and there's <laughs> thank you. There's yeah, thank you, man. There's there's a lot more still. We're only halfway through this yeah, session. Yeah, we got two more. Yeah, we do, man. What do you feel like playing third today? Um. So uh, I want to do an arrangement that I made um, of a, a song. Well, it's actually a medley. So it's a song written by Woody Shaw called Rosewood. And then I'm going to go from there into a song by the Crusaders called uh, It Happens Every Day. So All let's right. try that. All right.
right. Thank you, Matt. Woo. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Woo. This is so you've got um, over your left shoulder. The audience is seeing uh, a sort of out of focus portrait of Louis Armstrong <laughs> on the back wall. And then in the foreground right in front of you and just to your right, there's a there's a statue of mm. Louis looking down on the keyboard. And um, so how do you how do you feel having walked into this place and knowing yeah. some of the, the musical and cultural history of, of this place? How does it feel to I be mean, seated at his, as his piano? Doing yeah, I mean, today? To be in this place and to play his piano, like wow, like I'm super, like, I'm super grateful. I'm, 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 I'm thankful, and I'm, I'm like wow, like I'm just really excited to be here, and and thank you to everyone for for having me. Like it truly, this is a this is an honor. Right, right, right. I'm really honored as well. So. Well, that that happens both ways, man. We are very honored to have you here. Uh, I know that when we when as soon as we booked you and it showed up on the booking sheet, the uh, everybody at the Louis Armstrong House Museum was very excited to uh, to see you perform wow. here. So, yeah, man, this is wow. and also one, one thing that I want to mention both to you, Matt. I know I mentioned this to you offline, but to mm -hmm. the internet, um, they are now the Louis Armstrong House Museum has just opened up the application process to award two different ten thousand dollar awards to two different contemporary artists to come into this house. House and to uh, and, and interpret the archives, listen to the, the to the recordings, look at the written correspondence, and then turn that into their own mm -hmm. original music. And so, uh, yeah, applications are open right now, and that's. Um, yeah, just so that you know, man, we'll we'll put the link in the uh, in the biography in the excuse me on this video right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man. That is what is going on there, and we have. There's still one more, man. There's a, a tribute to to Louis, I believe, that's that's coming up next year. Yes. Um, so this last one we're gonna do is um, a tribute to uh, Louis Armstrong, and I'm, I'm gonna do uh, "What a Wonderful World." So, yeah. And once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Hope y'all having a great time. Hope y'all enjoying the stream. Stay safe out there, y'all. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, thank you so much for having me, guys.
Yeah. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank y'all yeah. so much for having me. Yeah, man, that sounds wonderful. Thank you for closing us out. This is our last uh, our last day wow. here for this series. There ought to be, I believe there will be more to come, but thank you for closing us out the right way, man. I've got goosebumps wow. now, so thank you wow. for giving those to me. And uh, best of continued luck on Connections. That thank record you. is out in the world. And travel safely, too. I saw a lot of dates in March. I know you're at the Berkeley out here, Berkeley College of Music on March 20th. You're at the other Berkeley, UC Berkeley yes. in California on March 26th. And a really excited of there in between yes yeah. matthewitterter.net you can find all my social media pages as well as my music as well so check everything out <laughs> all right man we will we'll stay tuned for what's next and let's keep on crossing paths man we'll see you again in you know a year we'll see you see you again somewhere somewhere equally interesting thank you so much all right man until next time that is that man we did it yeah, yeah. thanks Matt. We did it. yeah yeah <laughs>